Hi Mayfield, it's Thursday. I had to think for about it. <laughs> June 4th, and this is for my Math 6 students. As we continue, and we're almost done, our school year, um, doing our digital learning. Thank you again for coming to our check-ins and doing your work and asking your questions. Uh, I appreciate your effort and your time. Okay, so we had some people ask questions about two problems, and one was, it was, what does this even mean, Miss McAfee? Okay, so that symbol means absolute value. An absolute value just means the number's distance from zero. So on a number line, if I have zero here, and one, two, three, four, this is positive five. One, two, three, four, here's negative five. Both of them are five digits away from zero. Both of them actually have the same absolute value. The absolute value of negative five is five because it's five integers away from zero. The absolute value of positive five is also five because it is also five steps away from zero. So absolute value isn't positive or negative, it's simply the distance from zero. I hope that helps for that one. And then another student asked about question nine. Which student owes the least amount of money? Okay, so we need to know who owes the lesser of the negative numbers. So if you're thinking about a number line, and you can think of it vertically or horizontally, whatever makes the most sense to you. Um, I'm gonna put my zero here since most of my numbers are negative. And then it looks like negative 42. So maybe I'm gonna do 5, 10, 15, 20. So this would be negative 10, negative 20, 25, negative 30, 35, negative 40. So that would be negative 45. I'm going to plot everybody on the number line and we're going to see who's actually closest to zero because they're the person who owes the least amount of money. So Dylan is negative $19.25. So that's almost at negative 20. So there's Dylan. Elise owes $42.75. So that's going to be here almost right in between negative 40 and negative 45, and I'll put an E for a lease. Francesca owes $23. So that's gonna be in between negative 20 and negative 25. So here's Francesca. And then Jamal is negative $35.50. He owes $35.50. So here's $35, so he's gonna be just after $35. All right, as we move the number line towards the right, the numbers are increasing. So the student who owes the least amount of money is the student who's closest to zero. And so that would be Dylan. Dylan owes money, but Dylan owes less money than Francesca or Elise or Jamal. And if it helps, you could consider their absolute values. Who owes the least amount of money? Sometimes just taking away those negatives helps you see the problem. Well, the person who owes $19 owes the least amount of money. And that again would be Dylan. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me and I'll help you as quickly as I can. You also have that discussion board on Canvas if you wanna to try to help each other. Thanks for checking up and I will see you soon. Bye everybody, be well.